Clark, it was good to see you back in a, in action on Saturday. It's been a long wait, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a long time actually to uh, get a few minutes out there. Um, been on the bench a few weeks now, so it was nice to actually get out there. And that, that development game last week, did that help in, that, in terms of having a competitive game? Yeah, because yeah, cause it's a lot different from one of them games, obviously like a first in game, but it's nice to have like something a bit of something that's relevant before going into a proper game. And then going on on Saturday, I mean, it was it, it looked a fairly comfortable victory, and a, one 0 doesn't really tell the whole story, I don't think. No, if you look at it, well, if you look at like the facts after the game, possession, all that, like probably say it was more even. It, well, like I say, it tells a different story, but like. Watching the game, if you were there watching the game, you see it was probably. I think we edited it by quite a bit, to be fair. Mm. A couple of decent uh, first half saves by uh, former loan keeper, yeah. over Lee Nichols. Yeah, Nichols, yeah, he pulled off a few oldies, didn't he, really? Um, yeah, like, you, you, to be fair, one of them, uh, I think it was from Cirque, you wouldn't expect him to save that or any keeper, really. So, like, he was on his form, that's why he got man of the match for them, really. So, you know, any other day they all go in, it's 3 0. So. What's going through your mind on the bench? Are you, are you obviously hoping to get on, but are you analysing the game? Are you looking at what you might do if you got out? Get on. Yeah, well, well we all, we're always like uh, we have to be ready at any moment. Like you can come on after the first minute or the last minute, really. So you've always got to be watching the game and seeing who you might be up against, or knowing the person's jobs that you're going to come on for. And then when you did go on, you, you, you were involved straight away. Yeah, well, that was good at locks really, because as soon as I come on, I was like screaming, "Give me an early touch, really!" Like, <laughs> let me like settle my nerves into the game and uh, give me it as soon as I come on. That more or less settled me, so that was all right. That was good. Looked as though you got a little bit physical towards the end of the match. Would that be a fair comment? Yeah, I got kicked a few times, didn't I? <laughs> just, uh, I think that was the point of the gaff. Why just come on, sort of slow it down, break up bits, like just you know, gamesmanship, really, isn't it? As as we all know. Um, we all got to do and it happens to us enough so when you get fouled and that you just got to well, just get up and sort of carry on and keep it going really keep uh, keep breaking up and slowing the game down when there's only 10 to go and you're one up there was um, four central defenders on the pitch come the end from Bristol Rovers and another one obviously Tom Broadbent disappointed not in the squad so it, it's amazing the competition there. yeah yeah well like like I say we can fair, play a few formations the gaffer tweaked it towards the end because he thought that we were uh, didn't have too much, uh, as much possession as we liked and we went to three and uh, back three and pushed locks into midfield well no we didn't we went to back three and then pushed <laughs> and then pushed locks into midfield Sweeney's coming on but it worked really you know, locks can go in there and do that and Having five of us on the pitch, you know, or four, or however many it was, was a uh, like you say, it's good for competition for places and that, and you can see that everyone can come on and do their part in the game, so that's good. Do you, do you feel a little bit for Tom? I mean, you share a house with him, don't you? It's uh, very difficult. Yeah, well, I've been there uh, last year or the year before last, where I've been in and out and then not involved, and uh, I say to him, just got to keep ready, make sure you're there, do things right, because next week you never know, you could be starting. I was like, it's the way it works, so. Just got to get on with it. Don't get too down. Don't get too high. Uh, that's the way you got to be in football. And uh, I think he's doing that, and he's doing things right. So you know, you know, hopefully for him, at some point he'll get his chance to earn his place again. A couple of big talking points on Saturday. I think Ellis Harrison's goal was it a cross or a shot? <laughs> what do you think? Um, Which camp are you in? Nah, I'll give him that. I'll say it's a shot. <laughs> I'll give him that. Now nah, I'll give him that. I'll say it's a shot. It looked pretty spectacular from where I was sitting. Yeah, yeah, I was right behind it, to be fair. I think he was more surprised than I was when he went in on uh, his face. But no, I'll give him that. I'll say it as a shot. And Luke Rush's debut, I mean, it's quite an accomplished debut for a, a youngster making his first debut. Yeah, play. well, like, what a place to do it. Like, obviously, MK Don's got, well, one of the better stadiums in our division and that. Um, a good pitch, you know, big physical team in, in their midfield anyways. Uh, yeah, he done really well. He, uh come on he's like he's, he's rattled around and he's been comfortable and he's got the ball uh, at his feet really which uh which really impressed me the most yeah, ratted around that's what the gaffer said about him as well he's just like Stuart Sinclair or Ollie Clark yeah it? it's a it's a it's a thankless job really because you know you see other teams sit off and let you have it but uh you know you uh, you wait for them to make the mistake to give you the ball back mm. but if you can push them high like he does he gives us that well I'm for like Sinco and Ollie as well they give us that chance to get up the pitch when they're in their face right away. So, no, like you say, accomplished uh, 
debut, like one of the better ones you'll see at that age, and you couldn't really hope for a better one. When I wouldn't have hoped for a better one at my age going in like that. So against a big club in all fairness as well, big stadium and that. So you know he could have gone one way or the other, and it's you know he's come out on top and done really well. Just finally moving on to uh, this weekend, Northampton had some high-scoring games against them in recent years. We have, yeah, we have, yeah, and obviously you know, we wouldn't mind another result like that. But uh, <laughs> you know. Just, don't take anything for granted. Like in this league, anything can happen. So we just got to uh, work on the project this week that the gaff was set out, and uh, we'll go from there. Brilliant. Good to see you back, anyway. Yeah. Thank you.